I mean, you always kind of feel like uh, you have a lead, but playing a team like that, I talked about before the game, that plays so fast up and down, you always kind of feel like there's a run out there for them. Maybe that's just being a, you know, a coach. Um, but it was fun because a lot of guys contributed, you know, and there's, those are special nights where you see that. Um, you know, even Christian, you know, didn't play in the first half. Uh, you know, Bones got hurt. We threw Christian out there. He hadn't played, and I thought he was great from the second he came in the game. Uh, so, so many guys down the line. Uh, looks like we had one, two, three, four, six guys in double figures. 38 assists in an NBA game is absurd. So, it was really fun to see our guys continue to play the way we play, regardless of who's on the court. Uh, and I, I know you're going to ask about it, but so I'm for Jamal. You know, first triple-double. Uh, Artie's had such a story career here as a nugget and everything he's been through. So, uh, uh, very cool to see that. He was always labeled a shoot first guard when he got into this league. And now, since the injury, he's a much more adept playmaker. Do you notice that? And why is that? Yeah, I, th I think it's just experience over the years of seeing NBA coverages. And like you said, thinking two things, not one. Uh, reading what you see. And I think sometimes you have to, you have to give Jamal, he plays with Nikola. Like his job is to score. Uh, but like you said, the facilitating's gotten better. Um, we're, in, we're in a unique team in that sense where guards are – you know, they're out there to cut, move, make plays, and score baskets off Nicola. Uh, but you're right, there's, there are the nights where the coverage is what it is and he takes advantage of it. And, you know, we've talked a lot about Aaron Gordon um, being a possible all-star. We're the number one team in the West. If Jamal Murray's not in a the conversation, then you don't value winning. And uh, all three of those guys have been so consistent throughout the whole year. Nicola, Aaron, Jamal, uh, you know, they deserve the accolades that they're getting. Of all the remarkable things tonight, what stands out as the most remarkable? Oh, man, I don't know. Uh, probably the, the, the Bruce's dunk was unreal in front of our bench. I mean, he pulled that thing back. There's sometimes Bruce will go up and do something athletically, and you're just you're like, I didn't know that was in you. Um, KCP's lob dunk, you know, I, I've seen KCP play in Slee for a long time. That he still has that balance was pretty cool. And I think, honestly, getting Jeff back was cool. You know, we, Jeff is such a, such a solid presence in the locker room. Um, he hasn't played in a while. He's been great with the guys on the bench. He's been, you know, into it. And so it was cool to see him get back out there, get his legs underneath him. What, what is going on with Nicola that you can share? Uh, nothing. Nothing? <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I think he just had a little discomfort. And I think he's, you know, if he's not the best player in the world, he's close. So if he's feeling discomfort, we're not going to take a chance like that. Um, you know, Nicole's one of the toughest guys I've ever been around, so this was about being careful and doing things right, knowing what's ahead of us, especially this week. So he's playing on Sunday? I have no idea. Coach, you mentioned the 38 assists. That's actually a season high, and it happens without Jokic. I assume that's something your staff and the guys are hanging your hats on tonight. Yeah, and, you know, we, as a staff, you know, we're really proud of the fact that we're always, you know, top three in passes. Uh, we're – assist to turnover ratio, you know, percentage. We do turn the ball over quite a bit, but, you know, teams like Golden State, you know, they're, they're similar to us where when you pass the ball a lot and you're unselfish, mistakes are going to happen. Uh, you don't want the bad ones. You don't, you don't want the selfish ones or you drive into spots. Or, but if it's off the pass, it means you're trying to do something for somebody else. And, yeah, when you have a night where you shoot the ball really well, um, those things happen. But 38, yeah, I mean, we're, I think we're all as a unit very, you know, that's incredible. So... A lot of great offensive numbers with the 16 steals. What does that say about the way you guys were defending tonight? Yeah, we flew around. You know, I thought, uh, you know, we, we switched everything early. There were some times it, it didn't work out, but there were some times it caused turnovers because guys were, you know, in the passing lanes. Uh, I felt like uh, when they drove it, they have a lot of really talented, young driving kick players. Guys were there helping each other out where I thought, uh, I think we talked about it the other night, but the Minnesota game, it was not like that. I thought guys got left on an island. And tonight, I, I felt like guys were there for each other from the beginning. And that leads to turnovers, and that leads to runouts and 23 fast break points. You mentioned Aaron pregame and how you, you enjoy that he simplified his game going from Orlando to Denver. Even in a night like tonight where Nicola's not here, sometimes you need somebody to hit a mid-range two or something like that, he's still driving to the rim. He's still barreling into guys and forcing his way into the paint. How important is it to keep that mentality? Obviously, Nicole is not out there, but to keep that mentality of just the best value shots possible with him. Extremely important. And I thought he, uh, we took Jamal out to start the fourth, and we put the ball in his hands and found matchups. And the thing about Aaron, 
I think that's so unique in today's NBA is a lot of teams have small power forwards that if you switch, that's it. They can't, there's nothing to be gained. Aaron, if you switch, you're going to deal with him, and he's going to take you down there, and you're either going to have to help, he's going to score, or he's going to get fouled. And that's a major advantage to have in today's NBA with most teams, they, you know, from their concepts are fives or centers or in drop coverage or whatever it is, and one through four is going to switch. Well, against us, you have to make a different decision on most nights. Not, not every team, but most teams in our league, you know, it's tough to deal with Aaron Gordon. This place erupted when you had the back-to-back-to-back dunks in the third quarter. And I mentioned Bruce's, but what were you thinking during that series of the CB, the KCP, and the Bruce? I was thinking it went from 10 to 16, thank God. Because I really thought the game got really ratty right before that, and it felt like we had our chance earlier in the game to really push it out there, and we didn't do it at that point. And I think that really started the, you know, the avalanche of defensive stops, and got, a lot of guys made threes, and Aaron got to the line a lot, and we took control you know, of the game from there. Did, did Jamal do anything different? He only had eight shots in 30 minutes. I mean... Did he, did he change anything, or was that just the flow of how things were going today? Flow and also how they play. I mean, they I, they were hitting him in the backcourt. They were trapping him and picking rolls. Uh, that's where you get your, you're the most proud of your best players is take what's there. If they're going to put two people on you, then somebody else is going to benefit. And somebody else did because he had 14 assists. So it's you, you, it's, you take what the game gives you. Uh, they knew how important he was to us tonight with Nicola out. Uh, and I thought you did a good job of that. Coach started tonight and maybe gave up some size, you know, with Miles Turner matchup. What did you see from him in the spot start? I thought he was great. I mean, we knew Miles was going to go in there and score a little bit, but those are contested two pointers. Um, we wanted to protect the three point line, you know, and we switching one through five, you know, it helps you do that because it's just a one on one game from there. And I thought, yeah, Miles is a good player. Like, he's going to go in there and score sometimes, but that's not how they want to play. And I thought that benefited us. And, um, you know, one thing about Zeke you can't argue with is his effort. I mean, he gives great effort. He, he tries to do everything you tell him to do. Um, he's such a disciplined young man. I mean, it's amazing. What, for his age, when you talk to him, you feel like you're, you're talking to somebody older than that. Um, so, yeah, Zeke did his job. He stepped in. Uh, those are some enormous uh, shoes to fill. Uh, but he did a great job. Coach, I noticed there were some there are some new intimidating faces here in the media tonight, and I wanted to give them a chance to ask you a question. Hey, do you guys have a question for your dad? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> they they were doing? they were instructed just to come in and watch. So that's why they're. <laughs> <laughs> what do you? How do you think he coached tonight? Good. Okay. Yeah, it's a very supportive family. <laughs> <laughs> Happy coach. Thank you, coach. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.